welcome to my channel. It's your girl, Sonia. If you're new here, welcome to my family. And if you're a returning family member, welcome back. Y'all know I love when y'all come to visit. So today, guys, we will be doing another great collaboration with the One Big Happy Family. And today we are going to fall into fall with some jalapeno poppers, some bacon wrapped jalapeno uh, poppers. And we're going to be doing these for football season because everybody that knows me knows I absolutely love football. So this is my favorite time of the year. So we're going to make these stuffed jalapeno poppers because this is one of the appetizers that I make all the time when I do um, when I watch games at home or I have people over at my house for games. So this is a crowd pleaser. So we're going to go ahead and get into it. What you're gonna need is some jalapenos, and I just, I got some pretty big jalapenos here. Um, they're fairly inexpensive, so I just got a few because it's just gonna be me eating these. I don't need them all. You need about eight ounces of cream cheese. You need some bacon bits. I have bacon bits and bacon pieces. Um, I like the contrast of the, the uh, texture inside the jalapeno popper. You need some sharp cheddar cheese and you need some bacon strips, which I just halfened because these are big, but they're not big enough for a whole slice of bacon. And then you just need a little bit of salt and some garlic powder for flavor. That's it, y'all. Super simple. Y'all know I like recipes that have, you know, very few ingredients. So this is definitely one of my favorite go-tos. So what you're going to want to do is clean your peppers, which I've already done. I've scrubbed them and I've used a vegetable cleaning spray on them. So they're all clean. So you're gonna want to cut your jalapeno lengthwise. I don't know if you guys can see that. Make sure you wear gloves with these jalapenos, guys, because you don't want to accidentally touch your face, your eyes, your nose, or anything like that. You will regret it, I promise you. On the inside, you have the membranes and the seeds. You just wanna core those out unless somebody absolutely loves 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 the heat but i don't know anybody in my life that likes heat that much well a few people but not enough to eat the membranes and the seeds so you're just going to want to take that out and just scoop it out with a spoon or if you can get your finger in there real good to get it out that's fine too you can do that but i just usually do a spoon it's just easier that way and sometimes i just leave a couple of the seeds in just for a little bit of the kick but that's what you want right there. You want it completely cleaned out so that you can um, enjoy the pepper and not, you know, be on fire while eating your, your appetizer here. So I'm going to go ahead and core this half out. Seeds are popping everywhere. I'm going to have to probably sweep my floor because these seeds want to travel. And I used usually put leave the stem on because I just think they look cuter Oops. get that little piece off of there so that's it y'all that's what y'all want I'm gonna do one more for y'all then I'm gonna do the rest of these off camera but they're fairly simple guys and I can't cut straight to save my life so don't worry about getting them completely straight y'all some of them are gonna be a little heavy or thicker than others but that's okay too oh lord i am definitely gonna have to sweep my floor these seeds are popping every which way get those seeds out of there All right, that one's clean too. So I'm gonna do the rest of these off camera. I just got a few more, but I'm gonna go ahead and do them off camera and then I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. I went ahead and finished all of the jalapenos and I put them on a tray lined with aluminum foil and I just sprayed the aluminum foil with a little bit of Pam non-cooking spray. So just make sure you do that because you don't want the peppers to scorch on the bottom nor do you want them to stick. So. We're gonna move on to the next part, which is just cream cheese, bacon, and cheese. That's it. And then we're gonna wrap it in bacon. So that's all you need, y'all. So make sure when you do this, you leave your cream cheese out overnight 
because you don't want to be fighting with your cream cheese. You see how soft that is? It's just moving how I want it to move. That's what you want. Now we're gonna, I had some cheese left over, so I'm gonna use that first. So I'm just gonna pour that in here. I'm gonna mix that up just a little bit. It's probably more cheese than I needed actually, but it's all right. And I got two, I think I got too many peppers. So I'm gonna need a little bit more of cream cheese, which I think, but we'll work that out in just a second. So I'm gonna put some of the bacon, just a little bit of the bacon pieces. That's that, just for the texture. Now I'm gonna put some bacon bits. If I can get it open. And the bacon bits are a little bit smaller. Oop, I want that in there. We're just gonna mix that up. Get that off of there. And I kept my gloves on, y'all, because I'm still gonna be working with the peppers a bit, so I didn't want to be touching on my face and stuff and with the gloves on I won't all right so you want a little bit of salt not a lot just a good dash of salt and some garlic powder for flavor see that and that's it y'all that's your mixture so what you're going to want to do from there you can either take a spoon or your fingers I sometimes just take my fingers and I get a good bit and I put it in my pepper here and I give them a pretty good filling That's what you want, y'all. You want that, about that much filling in your peppers. And these peppers are a little bit bigger than I usually get. I got these from Walmart. So if anybody wants big peppers, check there because these are huge. That's what you want, guys. It's probably easier to do this with a spoon, but I can fill it out a little bit better if I'm using my fingers. So that's what you want, guys.
I'm gonna get my gloves off. <clears throat> So here is you know, this. Here's what they look like, y'all. You can leave them just like that. Or you can wrap them in bacon, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to take a half. I cut the slices in half. And I'm just going to wrap it around the pepper from top to bottom. And that's how they are. Super simple and quick, y'all. Well, can I get this one in my fingers? It's slippery, y'all. And if you want to put hold these in place with toothpicks just on the end of the bacon so that the bacon doesn't shrivel, you can do that too. I personally don't really care. It is done. And these don't have to be on the tray any particular way. Just give them a little room to breathe so that bacon can get crisp on all sides. I reckon that's good enough. All right, y'all. So I'm going to get these in the oven 400 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes, depending on your oven. Mine is usually about 22 minutes, but I'm gonna check it at 20. So as soon as they come out of the oven, I will be back. Okay guys, they are done. They're out of the oven. They're still nice and warm. I went ahead and put them in this cute little football shaped serving dish that I got from Party City a few years ago. I'm not even sure if they still have them, but I felt like it was appropriate since these will be eaten today while I'm watching football. So that's why I wanted to put it in here. But they are perfectly browned in my opinion. The bacon's cooked perfect. It's not rubbery, it's not too crispy. Everything looks like it's gonna taste amazing. In my oven, this time it actually took about 26 minutes, which I'm surprised about, but that's all right. They still got done. So I hope you guys will try this recipe. Um, my bacon, some of my bacon did shrink a little bit, but that's fine. Like I said earlier in the beginning, I really don't care about it shrinking. So. I hope you guys will try this recipe and I hope you enjoy it. Um, again, thank you for watching this video today. I hope you guys go and follow all of the other creators of the One Big Happy Family. I will try to leave a list of the creators down in my description below. And if you're not subscribed to me, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you join my family. I would love to have you over here with me. I do some awesome things and I'm, I'm pretty fun. So go ahead and join my family. Hit the bell so you'll know anytime I go live or post new content and I'll see y'all in my next video.